Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just made American Airlines really regret refusing to enforce his immigration laws. Ouch. As the manufactured crisis and faux outrage at the border concerning this whole separation of illegal immigrant children debacle continues to ramp up, several prominent airlines waded into the fray. American Airlines jumped in headfirst into the illegal immigration debate, demanding the Department of Homeland Security not use their planes in their efforts to rightfully enforce America's immigration laws and borders. American Airlines issued the statement on Wednesday stating that it has requested the federal government to immediately refrain from using American for the purpose of transporting children who had been separated from their families due to the current immigration policy. We have no desire to be associated with separating families, or worse, to profit from it. We have every expectation the government will comply with our request and we thank them for doing so. United Airlines, Frontier Airlines, Southwest Airlines, Delta Airlines, and Alaska Airlines quickly followed with statements of their own echoing similar demands. Virtue signaling at its finest as these companies pretend to show the world just how very humanitarian they are at the expense of common sense and national security and in defiance of current immigration laws. CBS News reports, American Airlines issued the statement amid questions over whether it has transported children split from their loved ones. It acknowledged that it provides travel services to the U.S. government through contracts but said it has no knowledge that the federal government has used American to transport children who have been separated from their parents due to the recent immigration policy and would be extremely disappointed to learn that is the case. The family separation process that has been widely publicized is not at all aligned with the values of American Airlines, we bring families together, not apart, the airline said. It also said, the government does not disclose information about the nature of the flights it takes or the passengers who are traveling. Alaska Airlines said our values guide us to do the right thing. Alaska Airlines does not support the recent immigration policy that separated immigrant children from their families. To our knowledge, we haven't transported any immigrant children who have been separated from their families, and today informed the government that we do not want to do so. The statements from the various airlines were prompted by a recent Facebook post from Victoria Cook in which she spoke of her friend Annika Lodzinski who she claims is a flight attendant. However, Lodzinski's profile identifies her as a stay-at-home mom so her exact position is unclear. The post claims to detail the events of a red-eye flight from Arizona to Miami and describes a group of children aboard the flight dressed as criminals. The Facebook post, which circulated online, claims the children arrived in Miami last week, not knowing if they will ever see their loved ones again that they were separated from in Phoenix. Victoria Cook's Facebook post stated, My friend Annika Lodzinski is a flight attendant. Today her co-worker posted the following about a red-eye flight from Arizona to Miami last night. Through all the adversities we faced last evening with computer outages, cancellations and delays, nothing prepared me or my crew for 16 passengers. 16. All dressed in black and gray cheap Walmart sweatsuits, quietly boarding the 12.30 a.m. flight. Children. 32 scared eyes looking straight forward dazed. We try to speak, yet none speak English. During the beverage service. One of the crew comes to me in tears. They can't face these children that have been ripped from their families with a smile. These children were probably ranging in age from 11, to the most adorable little girl maybe 6 years old. At 2.30 in the morning, deplaned here in Miami not knowing if they will ever see their loved ones again that they were separated from in Phoenix. Those sweet innocent children, dressed as criminals silently deplaned with the same fear as our initial meeting. Except for the little girl. She looked up at me as she turned left for the main cabin door, with tears of fear streaming down her face. I'm not sure the protocol, but I leaned over hoping to offer some hope, she hugged me, which was returned, much to the scowl and comments from the adult escort. I pray that these 16 scared little souls, as well as all the other thousands, find their way to reuniting with their loved ones. We are trained yearly in hundreds of possible scenarios as attendants. Something like this isn't remotely one of those. I had only met one of my crew a few years earlier, the rest never. Thank God, we had one another to lean on to not only get through the flight, but also maybe some glimmer of hope for those babies. What have we become? Hashem Yerachem. Meanwhile, United Airlines stated they had seen no evidence whatsoever that they had flown children who had been separated from their parents, however, they did not want to participate in such a program either. United CEO Oscar Munoz said in a statement, Based on our serious concerns about this policy and how it's in deep conflict with our company's values, 
we have contacted federal officials to inform them that they should not transport immigrant children on United aircraft who have been separated from their parents. Our company's shared purpose is to connect people and unite the world. This policy and its impact on thousands of children is in deep conflict with that mission and we want no part of it. A statement from Frontier read, Frontier prides itself on being a family airline and we will not knowingly allow our flights to be used to transport migrant children away from their families. At this time, we are not aware if Frontier has been used for this purpose. CBS News reported later on Wednesday, Southwest Airlines issued a statement, as did Delta Airlines. While we do not have evidence that tickets purchased for Southwest flights have been utilized to transport detained children, we do not wish to have involvement in the process of separating children from their parents. Therefore, we appeal to anyone making those types of travel decisions not to utilize Southwest Airlines, it said. Delta's mission is to connect people and we are against anything that runs contrary to that mission, the company said. Recent reports of families being separated are disheartening and do not align with Delta's core values. We applaud the administration's executive order resolving the issue of separating children from their families at the U.S. border. In response, Department of Homeland Security spokesperson Tyler Q. Holton promptly responded via Twitter in a series of tweets with some hard truths. Holton began with, It's unfortunate that at American Air, at United, and at Fly Frontier no longer want to partner with the brave men and women of DHS to protect the traveling public, combat human trafficking, and to swiftly reunite unaccompanied illegal immigrant children with their families. He continued in a second tweet, Despite being provided facts on this issue, these airlines clearly do not understand our immigration laws and the long-standing devastating loopholes that have caused the crisis at our southern border. And he continues to hit back with facts in a third tweet, buckling to a false media narrative only exacerbates the problems at our border and puts more children at risk from traffickers. We wish the airlines would instead choose to be part of the solution. Continuing with his total annihilation of the woefully transparent attempt at virtue signaling begun by American Airlines, Holton sums up his factual summation. For 15 years, at DH Scoff has worked diligently with America's airlines to secure aviation and facilitate the travel by air of millions of Americans and visitors and we will continue to do so. The entire situation has been little more than a mass emotional hurricane over an issue that has been going on for years. Long before President Trump, and even before former President Obama with little logic, reason, or historical understanding playing any role in most people's overly hysterical reactions. Yet all of a sudden, as if through a coordinated attack, the left suddenly decided to care about the children of illegal aliens being with their mothers and fathers and families being whole. How nice of them! That is despite the fact that many of these unaccompanied minors are actually traveling with human traffickers who are not their mother or their father so much as their pimp daddies ready to exploit these children to the fullest, viewing them as a commodity or chattel, rather than people. Never mind the United States has exactly zero responsibility as in loco parentis to children who are not even American. Mass hysteria and emotional response reign upon the day, despite facts to the contrary. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.